Nafet Sobara Foundation implemented a project on improving livelihoods of persons with different disabilities in districts of Kampala, Mukono, and Wakiso. The project has benefited several people, including little people affiliated to Nafet Sobara Foundation. These were able to actively engage in different livelihood projects to earn a living in different businesses after being trained by Nafet Sobara Foundation on how to improve their livelihoods. Currently, Aisha Namugwanya, little person, attended a training that was organized by Nafet Sobara Foundation that empowered her with more business skills. <laughs> She says that after being trained, she was given little capital, decided to add in her business of selling bed sheets and other clothes in different weekly markets, and the business has picked up. Namugwanya adds that after getting the support from Nafet Sobara Foundation, her income generation increased and she can now look after her family. Joanita Namsabi with urbanism as a disability and a resident of Chitaraka Wempe is another beneficiary. She says that she was trained about running business, especially record keeping, customer care, and was given capital, which she added in her business. The trainings, the trainings we attended uh, from uh, Tusovola, they are mainly business trainings, and at least I learned what to do. I learned how to run my business. I knew, I learned record keeping. I knew how to deal with my customers. Yes, and on top of the training, there is a capital that they gave me. And uh, it's what helped me. Well, the business was already there, but I needed some funds. And when I got that money, I was able to add into my bidding business like this. Namsa says that when she added more money in her business, it started booming. She says that now she's able to cater for herself. I also make uh, bracelets. I make anklets, waist beads. I was able to, since I do gift wrapping, I added more of these and uh, gift bags, wrapping papers. Yes, and I think I'm not bad because right now at least I can cater for myself and pay my rent. She applauded Nafet Sobara Foundation for the support they needed to her, requesting for more support in the future to get a branch of her business. Of course, we shall need more support, but for now, at least, I will say thank you very much. For now, I am not so bad. I appreciate. But of course, in the future, maybe we'll need more support because there are some things I don't have. What, <laughs> what I plan to do in future, I plan to grow a business and even get another branch. <laughs> yes. Ricardo Mugabo, with hearing impairment, a resident of Kanyanyaka Wempe is another beneficiary under Tusobara Foundation Improving Livelihood Project who also attended the training and was given capital to add in his business. So, yebaza. Eh, banabe chibina baba so mesa. Neba mwayo na. Eh, neba bawayo ne ntandi kwa asaba. Ba mwongere yoy agendenga agaziwa agaziwa. Ricardo used to make chapats, and when he was given capital, he decided to put the money in the shop he owns with his mother. We are really going to chapati. We are 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 he applauded Nafet Sobara Foundation for the training and capital they gave him, requesting for being given more support to widen his business. Message. 
e message jaba wajari na abeba za bongira wo okudukirira abantu ngabo e he says that he has a plan of saving money buying a plot of land and build his own house e asu e asubira wakula akulana afune yakaploti na ye azimba kayumba ke nebaka Joseph Chimbawa with a cerebral palsy disability a resident of Pererwe is also another beneficiary Ndibano ngone mirimo yange era napuno okutemetwa okulabanga na Pererwe tubako tidota nikira okubanga na Pererwe tubako na Pererwe tidobanga premiridao he says that when he was trained by Nafet Sobala Foundation and given capital, he started a small garage for motorcycles and bicycles, plus selling spare parts. It's from this business he started that he can be able to look after himself and get a daily income. <laughs> Chimbo previously had the challenge of capital, which he says that at least he has a starting capital. He still requests for more support from Nafet Sobara Foundation and development partners. Angela Namukose, resident of Chitoke Kavumba, Wakiso district, is another beneficiary. A proud is enough at Sobra Foundation for supporting little persons and other people with different disabilities. <laughs> Namakosa says that when she was trained by Nafet Sobara Foundation on how to start and manage businesses, plus giving them starting capital, her income has increased on a daily basis. She says that she can now look after her children. Namukose request Nafet Sobara Foundation not to stop on them but to help other persons with disabilities. Nobody in Nabosa, a resident of Mwera in Wakiso district, also becomes another beneficiary of improving live road project of Nafet Sobara Foundation. She says that when she attended a training, requested for startup capital, which she got and started poultry keeping. I am a beneficiary of, Na of Nafet Sobara Foundation. When I went to Nafet Sobara Foundation, we went for the for the trainings whereby we were told how to make money, how to make business. And when I joined, I went for poultry 
poultry farming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Poultry farming. No one says that after being trained, she chose to start chicken rearing. I keep them, so I keep those birds for one month. When at one month, I can I sell at thirteen thousand. When I sold all of them, I got around five hundred eighty-four. I got around five hundred eighty-four. It's on this that Noirin says that the business of chicken rearing is good because she gets reasonable profits to look after her family. It helped me because those birds, I had to sell and got enough money. Whereby I can feed my family, I can take my kids to school.